Hello children. Today we will continue with practice set 22 of chapter 5 operations on rational numbers. We will be doing sum number 3 of practice set 22. Sum number 1 and 2 have been done already in the previous video. Now in the previous video we have already learned how to add or subtract rational numbers. Now, in this video, we will learn how to multiply and divide the rational numbers. The first sum of the third question is 3 upon 11 multiply by 2 upon 5. So, here we don't need to equalize the denominator. In multiplication, we don't need to equalize the denominator. No need of finding LCM. We will direct multiply the sums. So, the numbers have to be directly multiplied. So, we will write here 3 multiply by 2 upon 11 multiplied by 5. 3 to za 6 upon 11 5 za 55. Multiplication sums are very simple. You just have to directly multiply them. Moving to the next sum. 12 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 15. Uh, sorry, 4 upon 15. So, we will write here. 12 multiplied by 4 upon 5 multiplied by 15. So, therefore... 12 fours are 48 and 5 into 15 is 75. So our answer is 48 upon 75. Moving to sum number 3. So let's copy down sum number 3 first. Again, I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Now, here you can see that these two numbers and these two numbers go in the table of 3 and 4. So, we will do the cancellation that is required. So, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 3 1s are 3, 3 3 are 9. So, we have done the cancellations here directly. Now, whatever is remaining, I will write it down and then I will multiply here. So, what is remaining here? Minus 2. Don't forget to put this minus sign. Okay, so I will write here minus 2 multiply by what is remaining here? 1 upon 3. Here 3 is remaining. Multiply by what is remaining here? 1. So, my answer will be minus 2 upon so, therefore, my answer is minus 2 upon 3. We have to always see that if there is anything getting cancelled, we have to cancel them. Okay? And you can only cancel a numerator, denominator. If the 8 was here and 4 is here, we can't cancel it like this. It has to be up and down. Okay? Moving to the next sum. Now, uh, next sum boys, you can still cancel. Here also there is cancellation. 3 1s are 3 2s are 6. You can do that. But why I am not doing it? Because 0 upon 6, 0 upon 6, anything that has 0 in the numerator will definitely become only a 0. The 6, even if we don't write, doesn't matter. 0 into 3 upon 4. If you multiply anything by 0, your answer is going to be 0. Okay. So, whenever, if there was a 0 in the denominator, then it is not even a rational number. So, in the numerator, if you have a 0 and you have multiplication with it, then the entire thing becomes 0. The next question reads, write the multiplicative inverse. 
Now these are the questions and we have to write the multiplicative inverse of these numbers. Now what is a multiplicative inverse? Let me first explain you. I have to write a number that after sol solving it, I should get the answer 1. That means if this is 2 upon 5. So if I write 2 upon 5 multiplied by which number that I get answer 1? I have to get answer 1. So I will multiply it by 5 upon 2. That means I will reverse. I will write the reciprocal of this number. If I write the reverse, I can cancel them and I get the answer 1. So therefore, the multiplicative inverse of this number has to be the reciprocal. So I will write the multiplicative inverse of 2 upon 5 will be 5 upon 2. Okay. The multiplicative inverse of minus 3 upon 8 will be you can keep the minus sign as it is and write 8 upon 3. Or you can also write 8 upon minus 3. Both are correct. Okay. Both are correct. You can write anything. Again, very simple. What is the multiplicative inverse of this? Multiplicative inverse of minus 17 upon 39 will be minus 39 upon 17 or you can write 39 upon minus 17. Anything is correct. Here for 7 the multiplicative inverse. Now this does not have a denominator means the denominator is going to be 1. Whenever there is no denominator it is understood that the denominator is 1. So we are writing 1 upon 7. Now this is a mixed fraction. We will first convert it. 3 into 7 is 21 plus 1 is 22. 22 upon 3. Do not forget the minus sign. So the multiplicative inverse will be 3 upon 22. Again we have to put the minus sign. Now, uh, boys, please remember, if you can see, I have put an arrow here. I have not put equal to sign. Equal to sign means that these two numbers are equal. But minus 22 upon 3 and minus 3 upon 22 are not equal. Therefore, I have put this sign that shows that this is the multiplicative inverse. Okay. So, you put arrow or you write the multiplicative inverse is and then write the answer. Okay. Moving to the next question. Sum number 5 reads. Carry out the division of rational numbers. Now, this is also very simple. Now, as you can read. 40 upon 12 divided by 10 upon 4. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to change this division into multiplication. So how do we do that? 40 upon 12. Instead of division, I will make it multiplication. When I change this sign, I will write the reciprocal or the multiplicative inverse of this number. So, we are going to write here 4 upon 10. Easy enough. Now, you just have to, when we change this sign, we have to only write the multiplicative inverse of the second fraction. Now, we will do the cancellations. 10 ones are 10 4s are 40, 4, 1s are 4, 4, 3s are 12. We have already done the cancellations. Now we will write whatever is remaining. So I will write here 4 multiply by what is here 1 upon 3 multiply by 1. 
so my answer will be 4 upon 3 let's do the second sum sum number 2 is minus 10 upon 11 divided by minus 11 upon 10 so we will write the next step minus 10 upon 11 instead of division i will write multiplications and i will write the reciprocal of this number simple enough let's do the cancellation if there are any only the signs are going to get cancelled minus and minus gets cancelled is there anything else no so 10 into 10 is 100 upon 11 into 11 is 121 minus and minus sign got cancelled so no minus sign comes here okay moving to sum number 3 now sum number 3 is minus 7 upon 8 divided by minus 3 upon 6 now in the next step i will write minus 7 upon 8 instead of division i will write multiplication and minus 3 upon 6 we will write the reciprocal which is 6 upon minus 3 let's do the cancellations both the minus signs will get cancelled now these two numbers are divisible by the table 2 so we will write here 2 3 za 2 4 za 8 Again, you can see your 3 and 3 can get cancelled. So, I will write here 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3. Okay. Now, whatever remains, we are going to multiply. So, I will write here 7 multiply by 1 upon 4 multiply by 1. So, my answer will be 7 upon 4. Sum number 4 is 2 upon 3 divided by minus 4. We have already learned whenever there is no denominator, we write 1 in the denominator. Let's do the division. 2 upon 3 multiply by we will write reciprocal 1 upon minus 4. Let's do the cancellations. 2, 1 za 2. 2, 2 za 4. Is there anything that we can cancel? No. So, so we will write down whatever remains. That is 1 multiplied by 1 upon 3 multiplied by what is remaining here minus 2 please don't forget to put this minus sign it did not get cancelled so we want we can put a bracket so our answer will be 1 upon 3 2s are 6 and plus into minus will be minus 6 so i'll write 1 upon minus 6 or we can write minus 1 upon 6. Both are correct. Okay, write minus 1 upon 6. The minus sign can be put anywhere or in the numerator or in the denominator. Sum number 5 is mixed fractions. We will first convert it into proper fractions and then do the operation. Okay. So, here 5 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So 11 upon 5. 11 upon 5. Divide by 6. 
फाइव जा थर्टी प्लस थ्री इज थर्टी थ्री अपॉन सिक्स नाउ वी गॉट इट इन टू फ्रैक्शन नाउ वी विल डू दी ऑपरेशन सो इलेवन अपॉन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स अपॉन थर्टी थ्री लेट्स डू दी कैंसलेशन इलेवन वन जा इलेवन इलेवन थ्री जा थर्टी थ्री थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री टू जा सिक्स नाउ वी कैन नॉट कैंसल एनी थिंग एनी फर्दर सो वी विल राइट वॉट एवर रिमेन्स वी विल राइट इट डाउन वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू अपॉन फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन सो my answer will be 2 upon 5 sum number 6 minus 5 upon 13 divide by 7 upon 26 here again we will write 5 upon 13 instead of division we will write multiplication write the reciprocal of this number 26 upon 7 Let's do the cancellations. Thirteen ones are thirteen. Thirteen twos are twenty-six. Is there anything else that we can cancel? No. So we will write here minus five into two upon one into seven. Five twos are ten. So this will be minus ten upon seven. So our answer is minus ten upon seven. Sum number seven, nine, divided by eleven, divided by minus eight. Like I have already told you, whenever there is no denominator, we put the denominator as one. So now it's easy for us to do the calculations. Nine upon eleven multiply by one upon minus eight. Here there is no cancellation possible, so we will continue. Nine ones are nine upon eleven into minus eight will be minus eighty eight. Okay, very simple. That's our answer. Moving to sum number eight. Again, five has no denominator. Let's give it a denominator. If there is no denominator, the denominator is one. So we will write here five upon one multiplied by five upon two. Now again, there is no cancellation possible. So we will do the multiplication five into five upon one into two, which is equal to twenty five upon two. This is our answer. Now this with this we end practice set twenty two.